Hello, my name is Ivan Phelan and I'm a researcher at Sheffield Hallam University and I'm here to present our work around designing our virtual reality myoelectric prosthetic training system for amputees. So you have these very advanced prosthetic arms like the Bionic. you can tie your laces with them, pick up an egg, they're, they're quite amazing what you can do with them, um, but the rejection rates for them are quite high and this is down to the weight of them but also to the, how, how well they're shown how to use them. Um, just to kind of give an example of how they work, they have these sensors that are applied to two muscle groups. So when you make a fist, say, the sensors pick up that and they can tell the prosthetic arm to open or close. Um, for this project, we, we did look at using the electrodes that come with the prosthetic arm, but instead for for this prototype, we used an off-the-shelf shelf, um, system called a Myo Armband, which is an array of myoelectric uh, sensors that pick up that muscle activity. Um, so normally when you have to get a prosthetic arm fitted, they, they need to find out, first of all, can you actually generate that signal? So you're normally introduced to a system like Paula, which you can see here, and it's, um, it shows the muscle activity as as uh, graph lines. So when you generate that muscle activity, they go up and down. and it can be quite difficult to, to, to control because you have to control both muscle groups and keep them clean. And when we observed patients using this, they were getting quite frustrated. They didn't want to do it anymore. And it was it was a, a very troublesome to, to understand how to do it properly. And once they do this, they're then taught to go home, imagine doing more kind of exercises, you know, that muscle activity. Um, and this is before they even get a, a prosthetic arm. So that's much further down the line. So we wanted to look at ways that we could improve that. And we taught the use of VR coupled with something like the Connect, where you could basically have the person in the, a virtual scene, like a kitchen, and they're grabbing objects or opening and closing doors. And as a way for them to practice using those signals from those, those myoelectric um, sensors um we did run into some problems with connect because we're we're missing a, a body part and the connect had issues basically it would work sometimes but then it would be a bit more erratic so we had to introduce some smoothing to it to to get it to to work better but then that also meant a bit more lag um later on we did find a, an alternative solution just using the controller from the the vr headset um and it found out it was a lot better and you could offset the position of that virtual arm uh, to make sure it was in the right spot. Um, but yeah, we found that was much more reliable and, and better for what we were doing. So we had um, a, a small trial of seven patients in Sheffield Teaching Hospital and it was quite successful. All the patients were able to use the system um, and more or less immediately were able to generate that muscle activity, which is something that we're told that it normally takes a few sessions before that happens. Um, I'm just going to show a quick video that gives a bit of an idea how the system works. The first patient that uh, trialed the system never had a myoelectric prosthetic arm before, um, never had any training for one, didn't think he could use one. And when he tried the VR system, he saw some virtual apples in front of him and he just reached down and grabbed them straight away um, with no hesitation. And we asked, was it because he could see a virtual representation of his arm? And he said, no, I just saw the apples and I wanted to grab them. He said it felt natural. Afterwards, he asked, could he get fitted for one as well, which was uh, a nice outcome of the the trial. So just to kind of go back to the current system, which is several steps removed from actually using a prosthetic arm, you're just looking at, at line graphs going up and down, to what we want to do, which is this more kind of experience-based training, where you're reaching out and grabbing things or opening and closing, using it like a prosthetic arm, just like just the signal is the same way. Um, but yeah, I, I hope that gives a good idea of what we're trying to do with this system. Thanks very much.